All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so in the last video, we restructured our query. We pretty much stole everything from our template from our edit underscore info.php page, but we had to make a edit right here and we restructured our query. So in this video, I wanna go ahead and restructure our if else statement. So this is what we are going to be looking at right here. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, yeah, I'm just gonna go and take it out and just start from the top except I'm gonna leave my closing p tag, my closing PHP tag right in there. So go ahead and delete everything up until, I'll go ahead and take this out too. Just go all the way, all the way back up into our query right here. Okay, so let's start out by asking our database a question. So let's go ahead and do if results equals MySQL, Query, and you guys should know this by now because this is our third step to connect or to interact with the database. MySQL query. This is nothing new. Connection. And if this is something that's true, what are we going to execute? Go ahead and put my closing tag just down there. No, not a closing, not a bracket. Okay, so if this is true, let's go ahead and I'll put a message. Um, the page, the new page was created successfully. And now before I'm done, uh, with my if statement and before I move on to my else statement I want to add one more line of code right here I'm gonna create a new variable and it's gonna be called new page ID and I'm gonna set this equal to an awesome PHP function it is called mysql insert ID and what this does it's an it auto increments from the previous inserted operation. So you know how we set our database to auto increment. So just from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, that that's how we set it up in our um, in our MySQL database. But this is a PHP function that really does the exact same thing, but in PHP. So I'll make a note off to the side. Auto increment. function from previous in create the width on this previous inserted operation okay assuming everything is successfully updated to our database or added to our database let's go ahead and redirect our page. So let's go redirect. Have we been using redirect or header? Not a problem if it doesn't work out because if it, I don't know if I have my php.ini file not configured properly, it's probably not gonna let me output this, but we'll just go ahead and use header. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And let's go ahead and create a query for this page equals curly braces out because we're going to index our new variable that we just created right here. I'm going to copy and paste it to avoid any spelling errors. Copy. My CPU fan is going a mile a minute right now. And let's go ahead and close that out. Our else statement going to be easy at this point. I'm not going to do a whole giant L statement. Uh, well, I don't know. If we want to collect all our errors, we can. We already have that code pretty much generated. We just got to go and grab it from another page. But long story short, else message equals this page failed to create. I don't know. We can concatenate. equals we'll just do a HTML break tag and we concatenate MySQL error 
so we know where we slipped up. Okay, let's save that. Okay, I mean, if you guys want to do the you know the else if statement where you talk about um, what we used in the last page, where it's what was what did it say? It was like you know there was one error in this form, else there were you know we concatenate our errors variable um, in this form. I'm not going to do it though because I know it's I know it's going to work. So let's keep scrolling down. Scroll down to our CSS, classes, IDs. What do I want to do right here? Underneath our navigation right here, I'm going to give it a break tag. And underneath my break tag, I'm going to go ahead and set up a link for my new underscore info.php page. Ref new underscore info is that what we called it yeah new underscore info dot php page dot php I'll go ahead and close that out and I'll just type add new information okay now let's go ahead and scroll down to our Form, edit, no, we're not editing a page, we're adding a new page, cell table, and we don't even need this PHP code right here. This is all going to be just static for this part. So go ahead and grab this, take it out. And our H2 can end right here. If you want to have the colon, whatever you prefer. Okay, so now we can go down to our form action. And we've got the wrong file right here. So we need to go ahead and type new uh, page dot php question mark info php so I'm going to take this URL and go out now if you want to leave it in that's fine we don't need we don't really need that PHP function right now get rid of that that a space man this computer fan is really humming along okay so I'm scrolling down to the bottom of my new underscore page dot PHP file and I need to create a boolean variable on this page that we can check on our page um, page underscore form PHP file so right above our include um, page underscore form right here. I'm going to go ahead and create a variable called new underscore page and I'm going to set it to equal true. So right here, drop this down a line. I'm going to go ahead and create a new PHP tag and I'm going to go ahead and set this to new page and I'm going to set it equal to true. And let's go ahead and save that. And this is so we can create a context or an argument from our, our form page. If this doesn't make sense right now, it will in the next video. So just go ahead and follow along. So in the next video, we can go ahead to test to see if something is not true on our page form page. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so I'm looking at this code right here. And this is just dead weight for this page because we're not deleting information from our new underscore page.php file. So I'm going to go ahead and change the value right here to, I don't know, create page. And we can just go ahead and get rid of this all together. I want the JavaScript thing that we created. There's nothing we're deleting. href right there. No. Okay, we can go ahead and take all that stuff out. 
for our link right here, let's go ahead and echo it or um, link it to our not our content.php page. Let's go to our edit underscore info.php page and we'll echo. Well, we're already on pages, so we want to get out of pages now and we want to go back to. Our first, yeah. Let me think about this. So, table one. Okay, I believe that's all I want. I'm gonna go ahead and put another break tag right here. Or not? Yeah. All right, guys, and we are completely done with this page now. I hope we haven't reloaded in the browser now, but I'm 99.999% sure it's going to render properly. All right, guys, so good luck with this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.